substitution. So the word substitute actually means to replace. And substitution in algebra revolves around replacing our pronumeral, which is another name for a letter, with a number. And an equation we actually use in the real world is the distance equals speed multiplied by time. So we can make the, we can use algebra to write this equation saying if d was for distance and that would equal s times t if we're just using pronumerals to represent this equation. Now in the last video we learned that when you have in algebra when we multiply we just write things together. So s times t can be written as s t and that is going to represent our formula for distance equals speed times time. Okay, so if we know speed s equals 60 kilometers per hour and t equals 2 hours, how can we find d the distance? Well, we know distance equals speed times time. So s we can substitute for 60 because we know s equals 60. So instead of writing s, we can write 60. Now instead of writing t, we know t is equal to 2. Now we have to put the multiplication sign back because now we're dealing with two numbers. I can't just write 602. And d is just going to equal 60 times 2, which is 120 kilometers we're going to get. And that's an example of substitution. It involves putting in the values of the pronumerals that you know to work out the ones that you don't know. Let's have a look at another example. If a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and c equals 3, how can we find the value of a plus b plus c? What's this value? Well, we can make a substitution because we know that a is equal to 1 plus b is equal to 2 plus c is equal to 3 and 1 plus 2 plus 3 gives us 6. So we can't say that a plus b equals 6 unless we actually know what a, b and c are. Let's look at another example. If we know a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, c is equal to 6, and d is equal to 2, what's the value of AB plus CD minus A squared. Well, when we do substitution, it's very important you should make all your substitutions first. So A is equal to 1. Now, when we have AB, remember, this means A times B. So it's going to be 1 times B, which we know is equal to 4, plus C, which we know is equal to 6, and CD is going to mean C times D, because when they're written next to each other, it means times. So we know D is equal to 2 minus A, which is equal to 1 squared. So we've made all our substitutions first, and now we just need to use our order of operations to finish off the question. So there's no brackets, but there is an indice, so let's do that first. So 1 times 4 plus 6 times 2 minus, well, 1 squared just means 1 times 1, which is 1. Next, we do our multiplication. So 1 times 4 is 4, plus 6 times 2 is 12, minus 1. Now we can just work left to right, because we just have addition and subtraction. So 4 plus 12 is 16, minus 1 gives us 15. Thank you.